And our top story tonight, a battle between neighbors in the city of Milford, and they're turning to a relatively quiet neighborhood. Well, now it's a battle zone. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live from the city's police station. So, Kim, what's this dispute all about? Well, another neighbor who did not want to appear on camera says Vitas, the man you're about to hear from, is a victim, and they're worried about what might happen next. I'm afraid of him. I'm afraid that he is... Uh... He's gonna do, he is doing sometimes uh, scary things. Imagine fearing your next door neighbor. Vitas and his family claim the man living next door to them on Shagbark here in Milford has been harassing them for several years now, leaving skulls hanging over the fence, allegedly shining beams of light toward them, and Vitas recently reporting to police gunfire. So he's been firing twice a day, about four shots at a time. Do you think he's trying to scare you? Yes, I think so. Our officers responded for the one shot that was fired about 6, 6.30 in the morning. Um, all investigations indicate that that was shot into the ground and in nowhere uh, in harm's way of, of the neighbor. We tried contacting the 58-year-old neighbor who has cameras at the end of his driveway where you can hear a beeping sound. Police say about a week after Vitas reported the gunfire, the next-door neighbor accused Vitas of leaving what he thought was a bomb on his driveway. Officers responded to a suspicious package, which turned out to be a bottle. Um, inside it contained four slips of paper that had something written on them um, and then a single bullet. He can accuse me of nonsense for, 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 from nowhere and then, you know, I just don't want to be in any kind of trouble, so I'm just not talking to him, to him at all. Milford police say the two men have done things to annoy each other. Their advice, never try to provoke anyone because so much more than peace of mind is at stake. We can only hope that people can resort back to communication and try and work out their problems peacefully. Um, and obviously we don't want anything to become aggressive or physical between neighbors. And then if, if somebody feels that that's going to happen, then they need to call us. I built this house with my hands, so I, I don't want to move nowhere. And police say the gunfire was not an ordinance violation because the neighbor who fired the gun was far enough away from other houses. And Dave, we have tried to contact Vitas's next door neighbor, but we've been unable to reach him. Back to you.